ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Zachary Wright. Uh, we're here this afternoon shooting uh, from Detroit Inner City Alano program. And we have some guests here today. Uh, this is men's rap with the subject matter uh, being illnesses in men. We have uh, Mr. Winston Whitlow to my left, and we have Mr. Fred White to my far left. This is relatively new. This is about our third or fourth uh, video shoot. Today we would like to talk about illness because illness is very prevalent. Uh, as for myself, I have quite a few illnesses. Uh, uh, not only diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol, I had a very serious 13-hour surgery, four laminectomies, and four fusions of the spine uh, that I still deal with chronic pain as a result of these surgeries. But I am recovering from all four illnesses that I name, and it's an everyday challenge, you know, but uh, God is good, and I do have the willingness to get better, and as a matter of fact, I am getting better. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Winston Whitlow, and I want to concentrate on cancer. Now, I suffer from two types of cancer. I suffer from one in my liver as well as one in my colon. All right, after having surgery in my liver, later on, they came to find out that they didn't get it all. And if I didn't have spiritual strength, I don't think I could have went on with this, as well as having a place to go to get strength from brothers that has had other, as well as the same illness. You know, and I'm just grateful that now I go for radiation early in the morning, start my day off after my prayers, and then I go to back to the wife to get some comforting thoughts from her, you know, as well as, you know, besides God, she's my anchor, you know, along with the group that I go to for spiritual strength. That's what I call it because it's other men with spiritual sayings as well. Yeah, good evening. Um, my name is Floyd White, and um, I'm here to um, represent my illness, which is the uh, illness of many black men, which is gout and high blood pressure. Now, having the thought that, uh, having the thought that maybe um, the importance of having a support group and spiritually being fit to fight any disease, um, I think most of the times we kill ourselves off first by uh, mentally and spiritually. We lose the desire to live and to fight. Um, I know that the support groups that we attend uh, helps a lot. Uh, as any support groups, it's about experience. Uh, somebody in that with the same problem or illness, having the ability to, to have lived through it or gone through it can give hope to someone that's going through it now. And that's what the importance of it is, really. I know that uh, myself, I represent two organizations, one being uh, Recovery Community Center, um, and we deal with uh, 
support groups and, and activities um, that help the community itself and that would, in which we work and live, uh, which I find is so important today, and uh, especially around the Detroit area. I also um, know that these groups have done quite a bit in enhancing people's uh, spiritual well-being. You know, when you when you when you ill, I think spirituality is such a part uh, of fighting. You know, you have to have a. It gives you the energy and strength to fight through uh, illnesses and, and adversities in life. Totally. I mean, even when you have a. Financial issues and and things of that nature; those can affect you uh, spiritually, which can, you know, you can make yourself ill by being in low spirits, losing the ability to fight off uh, diseases and things of that nature. So, as a result, um, we find it very important to give back to our communities by assisting each other as uh, men and black men, especially, who find it hard to even find the ability to, to go to doctors uh, like they're supposed to. We, the data shows that black men don't uh, see physicians regularly. And that's proven long before we come along. You don't even have to keep the data on it. It's been proven over the years. Everyone knows in all facets of society that black men don't take care of themselves very well and see doctors. We have a fear of doctors. Uh, as said, did my father. You know, and, and, and black men before them. Not only that, because of the costs that came along and not having insurance and things of that nature, we stayed away from doctors. And we tried to uh, cure ourselves and home remedies and not telling people we, we withheld information um, regarding our health that was pertinent to our families and to our, our, our jobs and society as a whole. So today I think it, it's a great advance that we talk about these things yes. you know and that we get it out so that you know that you're not alone uh, one of the worst feelings of all is the feeling of being alone and that, that no one understands you uh, or understands your, your dilemma or situation so as a result uh, Recovery Community Center came up with uh, men's illness and recovery uh, and we call it recovery because not so much talking about things of uh, drugs of that nature just recovering as a society from the devastations of over the years with the disparity between black and whites and things of that nature also so with that that's what we do thank you gentlemen uh, you both did a fantastic job uh, I would like to uh, elaborate on something that uh, you said Mr. White and uh, it's about dealing with illnesses and losing morale, losing faith, losing self-confidence, uh, going uh, up in your head and sabotaging your own uh, disease, you know. And also uh, spiritually. Right now I'm very spiritually challenged with uh, a granddaughter and who has a great grand and she's six months pregnant and a young man kicked her in her stomach and my brain is telling me to handle it and when I'm not a police officer you know and that's that's a mental health issue you know I'm also recovering from that yeah I would like to say <clears throat> I know with all the challenges as of having a heart attack, as having stents put in my heart, four, four of them, um, with all of that, I just want you to know that the one thing I have is hope. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to say something? No, I, that, that's fine. I think we're going to wrap it up right here. And maybe in another segment we can carry this further. Thank All you. Right.